And now listen to this, Colossians 3. If then you've been raised up with Messiah, set, set your mind on things above. Not on things that are on earth, but set your mind on things above. You've got the power to set your mind, to be not wrapped up in everything that happens in the world. Now you are aware of it, but you're not to be wrapped up in it. You're to be acting upon it. So God, you know, the enemy can use everything in your life to, 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 make, to have you lose your peace. So God doesn't want you wrapped up in everything. He wants you to, he wants you to deal with things, but he wants your, your mind to be set on what is above. The word also can mean be disposed to, mean you're, you're meaning you're so disposed to other things, but God wants you to start disposing yourself, start inclining yourself. The word can be leaning, start, to, start putting your thing more and more on the things of heaven. You might be disposed, if you're honest, to always hear the worst. Someone says something bad, you want to hear it. Every time there's gossip, you open it. That means your mind is being disposed to dark things. That's affecting who you are. But when you break out of it, it says, it's a don't, but incline your mind to the things of God, the things of heaven. If you set your mind, if all you're doing every day is watching television and just taking that in or watching the media, you're going to have the thought life of the media. You're going to have the thought life of Hollywood. You want that? I'm not saying that every movie is bad. What I'm saying is that if that's all you're doing, you're being conformed to the world instead of being transformed by God. Set your mind. You know, the media is the thought life of the world. That shouldn't be controlling your thoughts. Whatever they do there, I'm going to focus on it. You know, the word can also mean, using the Bible of this, is the word exercise. Exercise. How many people like to exercise? No, but only the people who raise their hand because they, they, they exercise their hand. Other ones saying, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> exercise. Well, there's a principle. You know, in, the, in, the, in physical exercise, you put effort in. When you have to. And the more resistance or the harder it is, the more change it makes in you. It makes you stronger. It makes you, makes you more, uh, more, have more, more endurance. So as you physically exercise, you know, if, you've, if you're exercising muscles that you have not exercised before, it's hard. It hurts. If you do something like you haven't been doing before, all of a sudden you're aching all over the place because you haven't used it. In the same way with your mind. If your mind is not used to dwelling on the things of God instead of this, if your mind is not used to being filled up with God, focusing on the things of God, but focusing on everything else, it's hard at first. But just like exercise, as you do it and choose it, no, again and again, you're going to strengthen your mind. Yeah. You're going to, you know, I'll example. You might say, hey, you know, you want to you pray. You start, you, you go in God's presence to pray. And what your, your mind starts going on in every other thing. You know, the bills, I left my lights on, and this thing, and this person who's this. You're, you, because you're all over the place. But the more, you got to say, okay, 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 but I'm back. I'm back. The more you exercise this, the more your mind is going to become a vessel focused of God and whole for God. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.